Am I right? You are so right, you're almost left. What? Well, eventually, if you keep going, you're to the right, you end up on the left. Stupid reactions, idiots. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you follow us on Instagram, Twitter, Twitter Juicy, Juicy Content. content. Juicy so Content. Juicy Content. Juicy Content. Juicy Content. Official Twitter account. Ring the bell. And I'll get the kids squad. How do they do it every day, twice a day? Today we are reacting to a little clip from uh, Coffee with Karan. Oh. Uh, hopefully it does get blocked. A bunch of his stuff has. It's true. Um, Come on, Karan. Give us a break. Uh, there's, I think, a, a Ranbir and Karina and an Amir Khan. Uh, on Patreon, that we're both. It's true. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. But this is a little. We're just a little over clip. there. This is Amir Khan talks about Shah Rukh Khan. Oh, cool. Somebody want us to uh, um, see that and what he says. I don't know what their history is. I don't know. If well, they, they like they, each other. If they I hate know. each other. They've if they're been, friends. I don't know anything. It's two of the three cons, and they've been together for all of their careers. So here we go. The three of you started around the same time. In fact, ironically, you, Amir, and uh, you, Shah Rukh and Salman, are all born in the same year. 65. Yes, and all of you <clears throat> few months apart. I mean, that is a really strange coincidence. Mm. All three of you still ruling the roost of sorts. And, you know, you all came in the same... You, of course, were senior in terms of you released your film in 88, Salman in 89, uh, uh, Shah Rukh in 91. Uh, but it's, Salman had one release before yeah, yeah. mine. Yeah, yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but I mean... Technically, his lead. first burst of stardom happened with Mene Pyaar <coughs> and Divana Shah Rukh in 91. Uh, and there's always so much conjecture and talk about all three of you as being this, you know, the ruling of the Khandam. Do you feel at all that there is much more talk than required or the fact that really it's quite great that you three are still doing such solid work? You know, when I came into the industry, I had no idea where I would reach and I had not even given it a thought. It, it is uh, remarkable that there are three actors. It, it happens to be the three of us, but it's remarkable that there are three actors who've got such a long span right. and all three equally successful and all three exactly at the same time. Uh, it's not very common. Not at all. Uh, mm. I remember there was uh, Raj, Raji and uh, Dilip Kumar and Devanand who, yes, were, who were the, the other uh, three murti. Yeah. They, I think they were called. So like this is the modern age three murti. Yeah, but, but it's not very often that that happens, you know. Uh, yeah. So uh, it is remarkable that it's happening. What is your, your genuine vibe with Shah Rukh? Is there, is there um, uh, just a civilness between the two of you? Or I think that there is a uh, there's a genuine regard and respect for each other's work and for each other's space. Uh, and if I have to be honest, there is also a certain amount of guardedness. Uh, there is a certain amount of uh, there's certainly uh, warmth. I, 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 I wouldn't say that there is no warmth. There is certainly warmth when you meet each between Charu and me. But there have also been, you know, moments when there have been a fair bit of stress in the relationship, if I put it very honestly, yeah. Have you tried to work at that or you just feel to each his own and one should kind of do? Uh, have you reached I out? I mean, we don't meet that often, you know. And you, and you we don't, don't, our lives don't uh, converge so much that we really need to. I think he's doing very well for himself. Right. And I think he's got uh, a great family, he's got a great bunch of people around him. And so, I don't think he really needs me at, or has space in his life for me. Right. Um, and uh, and I wish him well, you know, I really genuinely wish him well. I like I like to see his work, I like to see his films, and I, as an audience, enjoy his work as well. Right. Appreciate that. Idea. Yeah, present. Well, I want to know their history. Yeah. Like, have they have they done a film together? Uh, that's what I was wanting to know, if they have, um, or all three of them have. And what's their, what's their, because you could tell, like, he was thinking of some history they've had and also normally people will not reveal that much no of if there is a rift there no because that's not good pr no um, unless it's a really big riff and then you can milk that yeah yeah but um well yeah their their careers first of all they're going to see each other at the award shows all the time mm -hmm. um they'll they'll cross paths in various places and various things and I'm sure there's been times where something's been said falsely for example there's probably some story about SRK that was false and it was really hurtful, and so Amir reached out to him and said, hey, just wanted you to know I'm sorry that's going on. Things like that, because they can have a commiserate uh, connection. But at the same time, I wonder, do, do one or the other view the other person, because they have films that can be released on the same weekend, so you're vying for the box office together. Uh, your fans are, you know, you know, there's diehard fans that will say, I'm with that con, not that con. 
Uh, the condom is crazy. Yeah, that's... <laughs> I actually didn't know that's what I was saying before I said it. I know. Um, yeah, so, so, I don't know, but yeah, they're clearly there's... there's Apparently they've worked together on a song, but they've actually never done a film together, I don't believe. Mm. Uh, which is crazy, for as long as they've both been around. They've yeah, it is. Salman and um, uh, Saif, and they've, I think they've all done films together. Uh, Sardar yeah, Jameer. It's very, and, it's very uh, interesting. I, I would like to the know. The degrees of separation between them and the rest of the industry is like was zero. Yeah, <laughs> and it's it's true. Um, so that's interesting. But it was it was interesting because, especially I'm sure for people that know what their history is. Yeah, because clearly there's something that he says there's been tension, which I guess makes sense. If yeah, he, the thing, the one thing he said about I, I feel, and I didn't think there was animosity in it. I think he's just being honest when he said. I don't think he has room in his life for me. They're both and, and incredibly huge, they're incredibly huge, busy. Huge, busy, very busy guys. And it just very well may be that. There may have been opportunities where they had an opportunity to reach out and he couldn't follow up and they're just, it, it, it didn't happen. Um, and you know, you also get blowback that probably never happened where someone says, hey, did you hear what SRK said about you? And he never said it. Mm. So yeah, I appreciated his honesty about that. I'd love to hear what SRK would say in yeah. that regard. Yeah. And I'd love to see them in something together. Yeah. Um, have they? I, I don't, I think this is what I looked up on the internet. This is they haven't really worked together outside of a song. Well, it's, it's, it's funny. That, it's that way here in Hollywood too. Like, uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood was the first time Leo and Brad worked together after how many years together in the industry? Yeah. They, they've both been in the industry for 30 something years, mm -hmm. but this was the first time, and you know they've seen each other constantly at the Oscars and the Globes and they're talking and they have had dinners and people's schedules. So there's constantly people think massive stars that never work together. Yeah, uh, and especially uh, India stars, uh, especially you can't get bigger than Shah Rukh Khan, Salman, and, right. and, and Amir. Yep. Uh, but it is strange that they've never actually done a film together. Yeah. because. SRK and Saif have done a film together. Mm -hmm. SRK and I believe Salman have done a film together. I believe. Uh, Salman and uh, mm -hmm. Amir have done a film together. Uh, and, and there's definitely history. Yeah. You can you tell can by tell. the answer. There's definitely some, some history there. Uh, and I don't know what the history is. And I don't, I don't think it's... Because like he was saying, he's like, I, I appreciate his work and I, I like watching him. Uh, but it, it is interesting. And I'm wondering, you can probably tell us their whole... Like they're like, well, in 1997, uh, yeah, <laughs> he tweeted that. Uh, <laughs> so I don't, I don't know what it is. It was interesting to watch though, uh, and I think that Amir is actually a really intellectual interviewer. He yeah, seems, everything too. we've seen when he when he when he talk, he seems like he's always thinking. And he seems present. to be comparatively of the two because we've seen both of them in those situations. Uh, Amir seems to be more of the stoic. Mm -hmm. You know, a bit, bit more of the intellectual, a bit more of the stoic, whereas SRK is definitively intelligent and articulate. Mm -hmm. I get the sense that he's a bit more jokey, silly, mm -hmm. uh, goofy, mm -hmm. and than Amir. Which is funny, because I think Amir has played more... More goofy, silly goofy, characters. silly characters yeah. than, uh, uh, than uh, Shah Rukh yeah. has played. Yeah, but it's, it's interesting. Yeah. That was very interesting. I did, I did appreciate that he seemed to be answering honestly. You can tell when people don't answer a question for whatever reason, you're like, oh, okay, they don't want us to go there. But he seemed to genuinely want to answer it and be honest, and he was thoughtful about it, and there's definitely history. Yeah, I so, wonder how many, uh, if it's similar to here in Hollywood, I'm sure it is, that publicists will come and be like, you can't ask him about this. You can't I ask guarantee him about it. this. Can't I ask guarantee him about it. That. Yeah. Don't bring up this. Yeah. Um, because in Hollywood, that's a huge thing. Huge thing. There's, there's, there's been actors who are asked things and the publicist had told them beforehand, don't ask, and they walk out of an interview because they were told, don't ask him about that. Don't ask her about that. Don't bring that up. And yep. you, you shouldn't ask him. You, you should told not exactly. to. Exactly. Like, that's one of the agreements for you being on the show. Exactly. Like, if somebody came on the show and they're like, don't talk about blah, 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 not that we are trying to get a scoop on anybody. <laughs> no, but even something like, you know, Adam Driver recently walked out of an interview because they played the clip of him singing in Marriage Story. But he, for, at face value, people would think, wow, how rude. Adam Driver, Adam Driver has a legit phobia about hearing himself sing. It's a phobia. Mm -hmm. When he hears himself sing, it freaks him out. He can't, he doesn't want to hear it. Yeah. And my guess is either they didn't know and 
Oops. <laughs> if they did know, that's really bad to have, to have done that to him on a, an interview like that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that was awesome. Let us know more, more uh, interviews and stuff like that uh, that we can roll. I'm hoping this could be on the channel. And if not, tell us the truth. We we like knowing the truth about stuff. We don't want to hear the gossip crap that's not legitimized. So mm -hmm. just please tell us the real deal if you know it. And if you don't, then just don't tell us anything.